Welcome back. Last week, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Mr. Jeff Nyama, led a delegation to South Africa to discuss the recent xenophobic attacks. He met with counterparts in South Africa and held a town hall meeting with Nigerians who may or may not have been affected by the attacks. In this conversation with our South Africa Bureau Chief, Betty Dibia, he discusses his findings, the problem of Nigerians being turned back at airports in the United States, and whether or not Nigeria's foreign policy could change given the dynamics in international relations. Let me come to our own responsibility in all of these. While you were making your speech uh, on Monday, you admitted that not all Nigerians uh, are doing lawful things here. While you have a high percentage of, of those who are uh, uh, lawfully engaged, a 30-year-old Nigerian was sentenced to 20 years for engaging in prostitution uh, um, or running a prostitution ring involving a 15-year-old girl. What's the, the and, and, and this is not a first. Some of the houses that were burnt was because of stories like this. Every other month, you have situations like this. What are we saying to the Nigerians here who are engaged in these things? And then the government reaction to this uh, story. You know, of course, we, 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 we condemn that kind of uh, activity. But interestingly, uh, when we engaged with the Nigerian Union, they told us that very often they know who these um, miscreants uh, amongst the Nigerian community are. And, but the, the problem they have is that when they go to the police um, to give information, uh, this information often leaks back to those people and, um, and then jeopardizing the lives of the informants, you see. And um, so this has sort of made them uh, reticent, you know, about providing that kind of information. Now, this early warning unit that we've set up I, the point I made uh, to the South Africans um, when we were negotiating it was that what will be good about this is that those Nigerians who are ready to provide information and to share intelligence about those kinds of Nigerian criminal elements um, would be able to do that through this mechanism. Part of that unit, you have the police as well. So isn't that, uh, wouldn't that uh, worry those who want to provide information? Uh, no, because information will be provided not by them directly, but it will be provided by their leadership sitting uh, in that unit with the police leadership. The average Nigerian feels, I mean, they're quite happy that you're here and the other officials who are here, which is, um, I don't know whether to say it's a first. We haven't really had that kind of response. But the feeling of the average Nigerian outside the country is that my government doesn't care for me. Do you think it's unfounded? Is it there? Is it changing? What's the situation? Uh, well, certainly it's changing. You know, um, we are here. We've responded uh, to the challenges that they're facing here. And we've put in place this mechanism because, you see, we're going to put in place the same mechanism in Nigeria, uh, the same early warning unit. So the, the, the point is that we're going to have the equivalent also in Nigeria. And um, what this will mean is that the Nigerian government in Abuja uh, will be able to monitor the development and will be, you know, um, very active uh, in ensuring the, um, the workings of, of this unit. So the government will be fully engaged uh, in this process going forward. So, um, so clearly uh, it shows the, the, the total commitment uh, of the government. Um, that may or may not have been the case in the past, but certainly that's uh, the case now and going forward. The South African government, uh, as you said in your speech again, has given you assurances. Um, what else will the Nigerian government, apart from this unit, be doing to protect Nigerians better wherever they are, not just South Africa? Um, what we uh, want to be doing, um, and I've told them, well, here in South Africa and in other countries, um, to follow up uh, on, uh, on all the you know, complaints uh, and challenges. But what we also are going to set up, we're in the process of setting up, and we're in discussions with some of the telecommunications uh, companies in Nigeria, 
uh, is a, uh, a call center, 24-7 call center for Nigerians anywhere in the world. So we'll have hubs in various time zones to make sure that it's manned 24-7 uh, um, for Nigerians so that uh, Nigerians can call that number and, um, and inform uh, us of any challenges they're facing anywhere in the world and um, the, uh, the government will then be seized of that matter uh, immediately.